I've discussed this in my previous uh, video where you multiply any two digit or three digit number by 11 so I can extend this also but first let me show you what do you do when you multiply this you do 2 3 cross 3 2 so basically you are keeping here the same thing see what we used to do and then we used to add these here and put the last number at the last so this is kind of derived from this logic in the Vedic maths so I'll show you how to do this easily how to put the zeros so you can imply this with any larger number like 111 1111 or infinite times 1 basically you will be limited to some digit like 3 digit or 4 digit so let's know the logic now when you get to multiply these two numbers I have told you keep one side and another side let's see another method so what we will do we will put one zero and other zero to both these ends so if there is two ones we will put only one zero to either of the ends now the addition becomes more easy like you add zero with three it becomes three three with two it becomes five and two with zero it becomes two so we kept the same thing but this helps in memorizing this and extending these to a bigger number so let's see when we multiply by 111 so when you have to multiply 323 into 111 you will put two zeros by the side because there are three ones now you will not just keep on adding with the next number but in the pairs of three okay so zero plus zero plus three is three now you will add these three so zero plus three plus two is five three plus three plus two is eight two plus three plus zero is five and then these three three so you saw you can same apply this logic to one 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 you will keep three zeros by the side keep a pair of uh, four keep adding in the pair of four so you've got this logic the zeros will help you to you know memorize kind of thing because you may get confused which to keep on the left and right so just include one zero less than the numbers of one and then keep the making of pairs which is in the form of the numbers of ones so you can see how easily we can do this you don't need to write it anywhere in the form of the old multiplication method and this will help you to multiply any number of ones with this logic thank you so multiplication by 999 or 999 or something like that we have a method for this you can multiply easily without even need to do any calculation on rough sheet with the old method so what you will do first we'll write down the logic so if number of digits are less than or equal to number of nines so the below logic you will apply if the above condition is there so if 64 into 99 you are going to perform so what you will do you will reduce 1 from 64 that is 63 now you will subtract not say from 9 6 so that is 3 and from 9 3 that is 6 so this is your answer quite simple. I'll put one more example 45 into 99 just try to do this yourself I think you must have got till now so 45 minus 1 is 44 9 minus 4 is how much 5 and then again 9 minus 4 is 5 this is our answer pretty simple so we'll move on to our next concept now imagine if you have to multiply with like numbers called 23 into 999 now you can obviously see this number is having digits less than uh, 999 so how you will do just put a zero try to balance it make it equal and then multiply obviously what will be your answer 0 2 2 you will 1 less and then you keep on subtracting 9 7 because of 9 minus 2 is 7 9 minus 2 is 7 so this is your complete answer you can see you don't uh, need to touch any pen or paper just did it 
without even having to do anything now please go ahead and try this 723 into 999 or 43 into 999 take some of your time pause this video and try this yourself now you must have done this very quickly 722 and then 9 minus 7 is 2 7 7 pretty simple this is our answer for the answer for this one is you'll put 0 before 4 so it becomes 0 4 2 and then you'll put 9 and then 9 minus 4 is 5 9 minus 2 is 7 that is the answer very easy it is 4 2 9 5 7 so now I have discussed when the your multiplication digit is equal to or less than the number of nines. Now what if that is greater? The reverse case. So just for example, we have 58 into 9. What you will do? How to use this logic without doing all those cross, crisscross and stuff? Let's see how to perform this. So what you will do, if there is one nine, partition them into one part, okay? You just add one plus one, which is six, keep it here. Now, subtract 58 minus six, that is 52, simply. And then, now, for the second part, you will take 10 minus eight, remember, that is two. Don't do eight minus six is two, this is 10 minus eight is six sorry 2 so this is a 2 part you can you, you will just multiply it easily and you can see this is pretty simple you can still keep some things into mind I am not going to explain the logic for each and every number but yeah pretty simple 111 999 because these comes into DI when you see 1 by 9 is 11.11 percent .11%. these are like will help you to do those all those things into approximation with quick now try this question, pause the video and try it yourself. So what you will do? 42, there is one nine, so one partition. So 4 plus 1 is 5. Now you will subtract this from 5. That is 37. Now 10 minus 2 is 8. Pretty simple, you got the answer. Without having to do much of calculation, anything, you can do it in mind. Obviously, this will require a lot of practice to remember, but this is not very difficult because when the digit was equal or less than, then um, this was pretty simple to do one less and then subtract. And this one is also not very complicated, you can remember it. For this, you will make two partition, then what? Plus one is three, subtract three, you get 231. Now taking complement of this one, you will not, the base is 100, so 6 and 6, 100 minus 34 is 66, pretty simple, you got the logic because I explained you using two examples, you must have caught the example and logic by now.